Just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional photographer. I have to say that right off the bat. I'm just someone who is um, a photography enthusiast. I did a video a while ago about how I edit my photos, but I've never really done one about how I take my photos. And there's quite a few things that I've learned over the past four years of traveling, just like nonstop all over the place about taking a good shot and when I say good shot I mean a shot that I want to blow up and put on my wall when I buy a house one day. That to me is a shot well done. Before we carry on I want to do a huge thank you to today's sponsor who is Skillshare. You may remember them from a video I did a while ago about working from anywhere in the world. If you did want to level up your photography Skillshare is a fantastic online service but we'll talk a bit more about them later and about what free things they're giving to you. Okay so I'm going to split this video up into two parts. One I'm going to talk about some of the little technical things that I have learned that are really easy to implement whether you've got a phone or an actual DSLR. Um, a couple of things that I like to do every time I take a shot that I've got used to doing that I made a habit now. Then I'm going to talk about a couple of other things that I don't know that I've just noticed about travel photos and what they mean to me personally. So one thing I feel that can make or break a good photograph is how straight it is. You want the horizon, you want it so perfectly straight. Um, I'll show you some examples now of what I mean. It just looks so sloppy when the horizon is off and it's so easy to try and get it nailed down straight away on your phone and then you can go and tidy it up in your editor after. Going on from that, being able to use like the rule of thirds, which I won't go too much into now, but in general it is where you get your focus on one of the cross lines in the grid. Putting the grid system on, putting the thirds on the screen, if you have an LCD screen or using your phone, can really help you line things up and get things proportioned in a good shot. Another thing, obviously, is great lighting. Now, when you're on the go, when you're traveling, you're gonna be traveling at all times of day. Sometimes you're not gonna to wanna to get up super early so you get those golden hours that photographers talk so much about. But it's super important to understand where your light is coming from because the last thing you wanna do is go and see something majestic like that and when you take that shot for you not to be able to see it because the sun is in the completely wrong place and it's just dark and editing it just ruins it and makes it look really crappy and grainy so try and think that you want to do the least amount of editing as possible so try and give yourself the best chances to begin with another thing i'd say is when you're traveling the world explore different types of photography don't just do landscape photography even though i love doing it it's very easy and it's like some of the most popular shots try doing some portrait photography try doing nighttime photography do city photography learn how to do lookups things like that really play around because there are going to be people places and sites that all deserve a different type of angle a different shot that you might really miss out if you just focus on doing the pretty landscape shots with a little bit of Instagram filter on top of them. Take photos of people, take photos of food, take photos of all these kind of things and just play um, because you never know what you might be really good at. Now I'm going to go on to a few things that I've kind of realized that I like about travel photos. The first thing I would say is get in the shot more. Now I am definitely a person that is normally behind the camera as well as in front, but for photos I'm always behind and I'm always snapping. Those photos are great, they can be stunning, they can be beautiful, but any you could Google that image. If you can Google the image, don't bother taking it in a sense. Like the photo of me in front of the parliament building, that's not on Google. Those are the photos I want to blow up and put in a house that I buy one day and show to my kids and show to my parents and share all over Instagram. That's the photo that's going to mean more to me later on. So whether you like being on camera or not, just get in the photo. Seriously, you'll look back and really wish you'd taken more photos with you in them. Even though it's great to get those fantastic shots, don't shy away from getting the raw moments as well. They're both important. Sure, you want our Instagrams to look pretty, but I want my camera reel on my phone also full of those raw, unedited, slightly blurry maybe shots of you and the people you meet or just funny moments you capture on camera. And my last tip of all of them, 
don't use Instagram filters. They will literally just ruin every photo you'll ever take. And if you want to know more about how I edit my photos, I will link you up to that video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know. A huge shout out to Skillshare. They've been a sponsor on this channel before and you guys honestly did love them. I have leveled up so many skills. Scott has leveled up so many of his skills. And it's a fantastic online learning community. They've got like 15,000 classes on there. So you can go on, you can learn how to do, take better photos, how to edit in Adobe Premiere, um, all this kind of stuff. So whether you're like a digital nomad or you're self-employed and you want to increase your oh wait and the way Skillshare differs from its competitors online is that once you get your membership you have unlimited access to as many classes as you want you don't pay per class which is fantastic and of course just like last time they're spoiling you and the first 50 people to click that link and sign up get two months free literally that's it there's no strings attached two months free go and get it. Thank you Skillshare so much for the sponsor. If you like this video then leave a comment down below telling me exactly how much you liked it and also what you would say makes a great travel shot. Do you agree with what I said? Do you not agree with what I said? Let me know down below and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye. All right. Bye.